This video will show you how to set up and use your Mama Natalie birthing simulator. In addition to your Mama Natalie kit, only water is needed. Take out your Mama Natalie and Neo Natalie kits from the backpack. Inside your Mama Natalie simulator, you will find the Neo Natalie skull with fontanelles, the placenta, and fluid collection tray with the following accessories. Fetal stethoscope, Neo Natalie suction, blood concentrate, 20 millimeter syringe, urine catheter, cervix ribbon, one pair of normal gloves, one pair of long gloves, fluid drain and floor protector. Place Neo Natalie across a chair or similar to provide support. Pull out the filling extension from under the face skin and open the valve. Blow into the valve and inflate until the body is partially inflated. This will separate the foils and allow for easy filling with water afterwards. Unscrew the filling cap. It may be practical to use a circular mask as a funnel while filling with approximately 2 liters of water from a tap or suitable container. Return the filling cap and open the valve to fill it with more water. Fill neonatalie suction or another suitable irrigation device with water, insert it into the valve and press. Repeat this step until the body feels firm. Close the valve and fold the filling extension forward. Push it under the face skin until it clicks into the holder. To detach the simulation tubes, pull gently on the tubes to release them. Fold the sides of the hard skull upwards. Place the skull with the triangular frontal fontanelle on the forehead. Unfold the sides of the hard skull downwards to cover the ears. Tighten the back side of the skull by pulling the strap. Feed it under the airways and secure through the small hole on the other side. Connect the umbilical cord from the placenta to neonatalie by clicking the two connectors together. Check that it is well fastened. To detach the cord, break the connection point with your thumbs. Identify the air reservoir in the backside of the uterus and open the valve. Use the suction unit to inflate the air reservoir of the uterus. To show you how the system works and how to test for correct inflation level, we take you behind the scenes. Here you see the two air reservoirs being filled with the penguin. Normally the air reservoir to the right is covered by fabrics but here you see both. To test whether you have filled sufficient amount of air, hold around the visible air reservoir with your hand. The other reservoir, which normally is covered, should feel firm, simulating a contracted uterus. When your grip around the visible reservoir is relaxed, air is distributed between both reservoirs. The covered reservoir should now feel like a soft uterus. Close the air valve. Check that the valve of the blood tank is closed. Ensure that the blood tube is connected to the blood nipple on the back side of the skeleton. Fill the blood tank with the desired amount of water, up to 1.5 liters, and add concentrated artificial blood according to the manufacturer's instructions. Return the blood tank cap and mix well. Fill the syringe with 20 millimeters of water. Press out the air from the syringe. Inject the water through the urethra until resistance is felt. Place the green squeaker unit from the Neo Natalie kit into the holder of the Mama Natalie waist belt. To avoid spillage, attach the fluid drain to the back of the skeleton. Place the floor protection under the collection tray. Ensure that the end of the fluid drain is inside the collection tray. Strap Mama Natalie around your waist. Adjust the belt so that the simulator is secure and snug against your body. Pass the cervix ribbon through the holders in front of the uterus. 
tighten the cervix band to the desired level. Fold the stomach down and hang the uterus over the hook. This will keep the uterus in place when delivering neonatally and the placenta. Open the uterus and insert neonatally in the desired position. Attach the placenta to the Velcro located inside the uterus. Close the uterus and pull the stomach skin back to cover the skeleton. To hide neonatally's head from the birth opening, place your hands between the stomach skin and the lower part of the uterus bag. Hold your hands around neonatally's head and clamp the birth opening together. Use a finger to tap on the back part of the skeleton to simulate the desired heart rhythm. Place your hands into the uterus. Hold the side straps with your fingers and push down on Neonatalie's body with your thumbs. Assist the delivery by gently pulling the straps with the push of Neonatalie. For the delivery of the complete placenta, detach the complete placenta from the Velcro inside the uterus. For the delivery of incomplete placenta, detach the placenta from the Velcro inside the uterus, but leave the small part attached inside the uterus. For retained placenta, do not detach the placenta. If the learner is pulling the cord, hold on to the placenta with your hands to ensure it stays in place. Start with the blood slider in a closed position, no bleeding. Push the blood valve inwards and slide it sideways to regulate the blood flow. Place the handle halfway for normal bleeding and full for excessive bleeding. If the operator lies flat, tilt Mama Natalie forward to keep the blood running. Unhook the uterus. To simulate an atonic uterus, hold the uterus air reservoir with a relaxed hand and keep it above the navel. Twist your hand below the airbag and ensure that the student will only feel the soft, boggy uterus when palpating and massaging the uterus. To simulate uterus contraction, move the position of your hand forward against the stomach skin and below the navel while gradually squeezing the air reservoir more and more. Squeezing the air reservoir fully will simulate a fully contracted uterus. Insert the urine catheter through the urethra until the bladder is empty. Gently press the squeaker unit located in the waist belt to emit the sound of a crying baby. Detach the stomach skin from the back of the skeleton. Pull gently on the blood tube to release it from the blood nipple. Twist the blood nipple 90 degrees to release from the skeleton. Remove the stomach skin off the top part of the skeleton. Release the uterus strap by opening the press stud band. The skin is now loose and can be removed from the skeleton. Fix the urethra through the hole in the uterus strap and snap the button. Make sure the urethra is visible from the outside. Position the blood nipple into the opening of the skeleton with the inlet tube pointing downwards. Twist 90 degrees to fixate and set up the blood tube. Place the fabric matching the back Velcro and place it back on the stomach. 